Hey, hey, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. This is our first champion spotlight video, our first champion guide video that I've ever done. And today we're going to be talking about Cold Heart. Anyways, Cold Heart is one of the best rare champions in this game. She is a void rare, so you can only pull her from void shards. But please, if you ever get this champion, don't use her as food okay okay so i am a mid game player so i do not have the best loadout the best gear and all that stuff for her but from the gear that i have i have managed to build her pretty darn good now we're going to talk about how she's built and what you need to build on her obviously as you can see i have a lot of broken items here so i had to go that route especially when it came to the crit damage gloves but let's take a look at her to total stats first so i some of the areas i could definitely work on her is her attack she doesn't have the best attack but she has a decent amount of defense and hp um i did this on purpose because i noticed she was getting targeted in my spider 20 team so i gave her a little bit more tank I also have her at 153 speed, which is kind of slow. That could be helped a little bit too. I could definitely change that. I have her at 70% critical rate. Obviously, that's what you need in order for her Heart Seeker skill to land a critical hit because you get an extra 30% crit rate on it. I also have her at almost 250 crit damage. That could definitely be better with more better gear, but like I said, I'm only mid game, but this is honestly a decent build and like I said, I'm in Spider 20 and she does great in Spider 20 with these stats and I have her at 180 accuracy, which she does need accuracy and that is another area that I can definitely get her up on uh, because it takes accuracy for her turn meter depletion to land. All right, guys, let's look at her gear real quick. Like I said earlier, I have broken sets on her, and that's mainly because I was really, really struggling to get crit rate on her. It was very hard to find crit rate substats at the time. I also have this four star chest, which can be changed, but it's part of the crit damage set and it's HP percent, but it had some good rolls and accuracy. And I have the boots, of course, these are nice boots, but they're more defensive boots. Obviously I could go more of an offensive route with her once I try to get uh, my other cold heart. I have another cold heart that I need to start working on, but I could start rebuilding her once I get my other cold heart built and once I farm some more dragon 20 but that's really about it that really matters with her i also have a crit damage amulet that i could definitely farm a better one for that but i also have an accuracy banner i was so happy to get this accuracy banner you have no idea it was so nice to get this accuracy banner for her because with with champions like this where you're trying to squeeze out those substats and get at least that 70% like I barely squeaked by I'm exactly 70% at the very least where she needs to be so so that was nice now let's take a look at her skills all right skill number one is flurry of arrows attacks four times at random each hit has a 25% chance of placing a heal reduction debuff this is nice and this is fine, especially if your cold heart has a little bit higher crit rate or whenever she lands a crit, it, it does some decent damage to trash mobs and things like that. And the heal reduction is also nice as well. Skill number two, Art of Pain, attacks all enemies, has a 30% chance of placing a 50% decrease accuracy debuff for one turn and places a 5% poison debuff for two turns if the target is under a heal reduction debuff now in order for the poison to hit like it says it has to be under a heal reduction which she applies with her a1 uh, so if that lands then she gets the poison and then also with the decreased accuracy that's not bad to have either if you land that on some of the spiderlings you know in the spider dungeon that could that could help you out but cold heart is mainly good because of her a3 which is heart seeker now this she's one of the few champions that has an ability that does damage based off the max hp of the end but what makes heart seeker also great is that it decreases 
the target's turn meter by a hundred percent so it fully depletes the turn meter of any dungeon boss that you're facing or any champion or you know whoever whoever she is attacking it depletes that turn meter and it hits super hard and on top of that like i said earlier it has a 30 percent extra chance of inflicting a critical hit so you only really need at the bottom line is 70 percent crit rate when you're trying to build her out with your artifacts even if you don't have a lot of crit damage even if you have to sacrifice some crit damage which is what i probably will eventually do a little bit with her we'll see if i have to sacrifice that crit damage set that's fine with me but that's okay because you still have that 30 extra percent chance which is really nice so that that also means you can pack out crit damage on her with all of your artifacts and only really have to worry very little about the crit rate especially if you have a good crit rate set that's even better having a good crit rate set that you could come here and put on her that has crit rate substats as well that's awesome any artifact set that also has a substat for the bonus it gives is great especially with the accuracy set so if you have like an accuracy uh, weapon with accuracy substat too that just adds it even more so if you have the crit damage set with crit damage substats like i said the crit rate set with crit rate substats it's going to help you build her out even more and allow you to put even more crit damage on her now let's talk about her masteries all right so for her masteries we're going with the extra crit rate the five percent damage at max hp uh more crit damage plus 10 we have life drinker here healing by five percent the speed increase whirlwind of death for for every enemy she kills she gets more speed has a 30 percent chance of reduce, reducing the cooldown of a random skill by one turn this is great because it could take the cooldown of her heart seeker to by one turn also we have kill streak increases the damage by three percent for each enemy killed up to 12 percent that's definitely effective in the spider dungeon because the more of those little spiderlings she kills, the more damage she can do. And then we have Stoked to Fury increases the damage by 4% for each debuff. This one is okay, and it's and it's especially good when you have like a miscreated monster who's really doing the job in spider of helping your team tank the poison damage from the spiderlings because most likely cold heart is more squishy so she'll get targeted by those little spiders but if your miscreated monster or someone else is giving uh defense debuffs or defense buffs and shield buffs to your team then she'll be able to tank those poisons but she'll also proc this this uh mastery to giving her more damage inflicted but really we go this route on the offense tree because we want the flawless execution we want that extra crit damage on our cold heart now we also go into the support tree where we get accuracy more accuracy by 20 when she has skills on cooldown 30 percent chance of increasing the turn meter by 10 percent when a debuff cast by this champion is removed or expires we have the set bonuses so this is giving a set bonus to my crit damage set then we have decreases the target turn meter when this champion hits them with a default skill for the first time that's great even if it's a little bit of turn meter we know especially in spider dungeon we want to keep that turn meter low we don't want that spider to take a lot of turns and then master hexer 30 percent chance to extend the debuffs that she casts whether it's heal reduction those poisons that could work out and squeeze out just a little bit of extra damage but we mainly went uh, this route just because we want that added accuracy for her heart seeker ability to to fully deplete that turn meter on that spider when she hits it all right guys let's go and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of all right guys let's go to the dungeons and see and mm, break
All right, guys, let's go into the dungeons and see where Coldheart is most effective. All right, so Coldheart is really very effective in Fire Knight's castle because her A1 attacks four enemies at random. Now, we all know in Fire Knight, in order for that shield to come down, you have to have characters that have multiple hits either on their A1 or some ability that does multiple hits. But the A1 is the most important because it's never on a cooldown especially if you have a counter-attack team which is good for fire knight's castle because that way you're bringing his shield down quicker and then you're keeping it down with cold hearts a3 her heart seeker while at the same time dealing massive damage now for dragon slayer she's also good because she does the same thing on the dragon boss she hits him hard and she decreases that turn meter and the same thing for the spider's den now we all know that the spider's den is a little bit more tricky because we have to deal with all those little spiderlings and and that's just the most annoying part about the spider dungeon but for dungeons like spider and fire knight it's really important that you have a cold heart because mainly she's decreasing that turn meter by a hundred percent and also she is dealing a ton of damage because these these bosses have a lot of health she's not very effective in ice golem's peak because I, at least what i have found she's just too squishy for ice golem's peak she does have some poison she can land but it it's difficult for her to get through the trash mobs in my ice golem team so I just prefer not to use her in Ice Golem. Now, if you do have a team that you can use to get her through and protect her and make sure she's good, I don't see any harm in her being an Ice Golem, but we know that once the damage threshold in Ice Golem reaches a certain point, he'll take his turn. It doesn't matter if he has turn meter reduction or anything like that. And then Dragon's Lair, she's just nice to have. It's just a normal layer for her there's no like special things you have to do like fire knight or spider but she does still decrease the dragon's turn meter so that gives the dragon one less turn so it's it's always good to have her and like and her heart seeker ability deals massive damage because the dragon has a lot of hp as well so let's check out the damage that she does in spider's den Okay guys, here is my team. This is my Spider 20 team. I have my Miscreated, my Siffy, my Tayral, my Coldheart, and my Royal Guard. So I'm gonna show you guys, once it gets to Coldheart's turn, just how much damage she does with her Heart Seeker ability, especially on the Spider, because if you watched my introduction to the Spider's Den video, you'd know that Skavog, or the Spider Queen, is the boss that has the most hp out of all the dungeon bosses so her heart seeker is going to hit really hard just like rg's uh takedown ability is also going to hit really hard all right guys so i've been through my turns as you can see i have my shields from miscreated he's done them we have the defense down especially on the spider and royal guard has done his takedown so all right let's go ahead and use our heart seeker ability on cold heart and see how it does boom as you could see there it took a massive chunk off of the spider and now she's already almost at half health so you also see that her turn meter got decreased all the way down so it's just a really nice ability and that's what really makes cold heart an awesome champion in this game and a very effective champion for dungeons she's one of the best characters to bring along on your dungeon team for fire knight spider and dragon Guys, if you have any more questions about Cold Heart, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and let me know a champion you would like me to do a, another guide on. This is my first one, so hope it's good and I will see you guys in the next video.